Hi there, this is Molly and welcome to video 20 in the Twin Flames Healing Journey teaching series where we're going to talk about types of union, reunion, and reconnection. And this is essentially a full circle experience. Now, if you have been listening to this teaching series from the beginning, you will see how we're going to bring together these various pieces because energetically that's what this is about is that you're bringing together the truth of who you are which is love and you are bringing that into yourself and then having that as an energetic connection with another person who is your own divine mirror and that is what the divine feminine and divine masculine energies are they are the mirror of each other they are their own person. Uh, they are their own individual. This is not about codependence. This is a not about someone who is exactly like you. It is about an energetic connection that is from spirit, source, God, the creator, whatever you call it. And it is ultimately about how we can raise love on the planet, unconditional love, which includes stories of forgiveness, acceptance, compassion, and healing. And this is the person who pushes you to do more of that because you are pushed to do more of that within yourself. This is always free will and choice that's involved and yet there's a reason why you've been listening to this information. There's something within you that has wanted to understand this from a higher perspective and it means that you're also ready to continue growing in this way. So the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, these are not about gender, these are about energies and you can be uh, feminine and feel like the Divine Masculine, you can be masculine and feel like the Divine Feminine, it isn't about gender, it's about the energetic signatures and it's ultimately about how you embrace all energies within you, how you understand that you are emerging of energies the masculine and feminine within you that allows you to be a fuller version of yourself and this is perhaps making it makes you different in your family in your culture in your beliefs and how you grew up because you are expanding you are the leader in this energy De depending on where you are on the planet uh, depending on where you are socially economically uh, with any of these labels that we give ourselves, twin flames are often the ones that feel like the black sheep or the outcast, the one who feels different, uh, who doesn't think they belong. But that's because you have a different energy that is meant to expand and benefit all of those around you. And it's through the twin flame experience that you do that because you typically are feeling this deep, intuitive, spiritual energetic connection with someone who at first appears very different than you. Perhaps they are of a different background, a different culture, a different belief system. Perhaps they are a different age. There's often a big age difference between twin flames. Um, it's something that challenges the status quo. And the purpose of that is to understand that love exists beyond these labels, that love is bigger than what we believed or thought it was, how we were conditioned, how we were programmed. And the twin flame relationship is one that just busts all that open and you say, yeah, we're different, so what? And that's part of what happens before union, reconnection, or reunion is that you just have this giant, so what? Who cares if they believe this? Who cares if they're from this uh, background? Who cares if they're this age? Who cares? Like you've just understood it's not a about any of that. And so the things that held you back previously, that were the roadblocks, the challenges, the anything that at first had you slam on your brakes, chances are the experiences you've had have, have required you to elevate your perspective, to see it differently. And ultimately you're going into a bigger definition of love. And then that is what you embody within yourself and it's where you then share it in your world, in your life, uh, with your family, with your friends and with others.
So it's important to see how this comes full circle because initially there was something that was uncomfortable or different about the connection and you've gone through enough healing that you see what matters and what doesn't matter. And this journey requires you to go into more work than perhaps other people. It's emotionally intense. You have to do it on your own. You go through dark nights of the soul. You experience your fears and emotional depths. Uh, There can be a lot of crying. There can be a lot of emotions that come up. You can think, what's wrong with me? Uh, you You can think a lot of things. But what this is doing is stretching you out of those places, out of the ego mind energy, because you're more than that. And there are people such as ourselves who volunteered at a soul level to say, I can take this on. I can handle this. I'm going to need help. I'm going to need support. But I believe that this is so important and that love is bigger than all of this. Now, the twin flame energy is quite strong. And it has been something that's either guided you or you felt it all your life or you didn't know what it was or you felt it since you met this person. Back in a previous video, I talked to you about the connections and energies you feel, the characteristics of a twin flame connection. And so chances are that has become stronger for you and more real. Uh, I've shared with you why uh, Twin Flames Are Here, which is about the ultimate love story, about unconditional love, about the union of divine feminine and divine masculine. I've shared with you relationship pains and how Twin Flames have very hard relationships uh, because they're healing deep wounds and deep issues, often within the family, often within their family of origins. You go through the full spectrum of energy and emotions on this journey. And a part of you has that belief of the union, reunion, or reconnection. Now, it's important to understand that there are so many different ways this can occur. And it's easy to think it's going to be a wedding, uh, that there's going to be marriage. And that's one way it can play out in the physical world. And that can be one storyline for some twin flames, but it's different. There are twin flames who will not unite who will not be in union. Uh, There are twin flames who will be in each other's lives, but in a different capacity. There's many different ways this plays out. So let me talk about that a bit more. So there are essentially three storylines here where you're together in person, you're separated, but you're both in the physical, and one person is in spirit and the other is in the physical. So there's three different storylines. And what we do uh, with the energy of union, reunion, and reconnection is, as I described in the previous video, it is about creating that bridge that is a bridge to the higher energy source that you are. Now, I talked about how twin flames are essentially a 3.0 energy. You have more advanced uh, features, you have more capabilities, you're here to do more with your energy and that is because of the unconditional love that you are and that you're connected with. And it's understanding that the trinity there of the 3.0 is the holy trinity. Um, It is the understanding of the feminine, the masculine, and the merging of them to become a third higher energy together. And so that is where union happens first. It happens in the spiritual energetic realms. It is more of an intuitive connection. It's that person you can't stop thinking about. It's that person you can't... um, you know, they're always in your mind, they're always they're always in your heart. And it doesn't matter where you are, you just feel them. You feel that energy, you feel a connection, you feel a connection that feels more powerful than other relationships you've had before. So the first sign of union is that connection. It happens in the spiritual realms before it happens in the physical. That's important to understand because you might always feel that energy. And I've described it as this giant ball of light. And union happens when both people plug in 
to that ball of light. In the previous video, I talked about it as uh, the twin who goes first, who's more awakened or more aware of the connection spiritually, will be the first one to plug in. And it's a bit like the one half of a rainbow and then the other twin plugs in and then that's the full rainbow. So it's the full energy spectrum. It's un it's That's union. It happens through the energetics first. And that's when you're aware of the connection. You can't get that person out of your mind. You feel like you're always uh, perhaps talking with them telepathically. Um, you see them in your dreams. Again, this goes back to the traits of the twin flame connection. And so that right there is union. It is. That's that's the energy of union. It isn't always in the it isn't in the physical first. It's in the spiritual realms first. Because that's both of you in your 5D energy fields together. And that's important to understand is that at the spiritual level, they are your spiritual equal. Your spiritual husband, your spiritual wife, that's your spiritual marriage. And they are with you in that realm. And it's very important to understand that because at that level, it almost doesn't matter what happens in the physical. Because you know that they're there for you. They're in your corner. They're supporting you. They love you. They understand what you had to choose or what you did or why you haven't appeared yet. And this is also really important for those of you who feel that your twin flame is in spirit. Because you're connected with them at a different energy level. Always. So that's union. That's really it, is it's the union of the energies. That level of consciousness has merged together to create that third level of energy, which is the 5D spiritual connection. And then it kind of trickles down from there. And then that's where you look for validation in the physical. Now, some of, again, you have different storylines here. And there is the storyline where you're coming together both of you are single and available and you're coming together into union. You've both been on your paths. You've dated other people. You've had hard relationships. You've done the karmic thing. You've done the soulmate thing. But now you understand who's truly in your heart and you want that physical union to happen. And this will be the case for some twin flames. You will have that physical union where you'll be in relationship together. Now, there's other twin flames who are aware of the connection, but who are separated in person, in the physical, um, depending on the timeline involved, depending on what commitments you've made, depending on your free will. There are other situations that play out in the physical where you're aware of the connection, but you're not together in person. This is also a way that union can happen because union happens energetically. It happens through, again, the intuition, the telepathy, the psychic connection. The, it's just a powerful connection to somebody else on the planet, even when you're not together physically. This is what this is what's true for many of you. And I'm going to answer the question about, well, what happens if you don't unite physically? I'm going to answer that in the next video where I'm going to answer more of your questions. But that's important too, because again, there's no guarantees here. It is about cycles of timing. It's about choices and free will. And it's about each person's healing. And there's certain expectations that we can have in our human selves. But spiritually, you don't hold those expectations because you love and honor the other person. Uh, in a way that allows them to do what they need to do or to make the choices that are best for them. And so I'm going to talk about that more in the next video. But not every twin flame connection is going to be in physical union. I even know a friend of mine, she's been married 17 years and she has two kids and that's what her life is right now. And she knows that she has a connection with somebody else, but she's happy in her life and this is this is what it is. And um, she's had to come to terms with that. And that is something that I don't think is discussed a lot um, with these with this topic. Some teachers say that the connection is faded, that you will definitely come into union. Um, I've heard some people say, well, if one person's married, they'll get divorced. 
and the children will be okay if there's children involved and then the two of you will come together. And I find that to be quite simplistic uh, when in fact that isn't the case for a lot of people. And so again, it's coming up to that spiritual level of understanding that there's many ways this can unfold and there's many cycles and and the timing involved is not something that we're always aware of. I'm going to talk about that more, like I said, in the next video. But this is understanding that union happens in the 5D, spiritually, intuitively, and that's where it's alive, truly, and timeless, and never-ending. And you can feel their love for you, you can feel their support for you, even if it's not in the physical, and that's where you feel it in a way that other people don't know or understand, unless they also are aware of that twin flame energy. So understand that you can be separated in person, but in union in the spiritual. Reconnection, reunion, and union are always about stepping out of the ego mind's need for physical validation or physical proof. And it is up to you to continue to heal yourself so that you can be ready for the union of these energies and the physical. Now, you can be in union in the physical with someone and you can come together in a relationship and come together in marriage and have twins or have, that's funny, I said twins, have children, maybe they're going to be twins, and be together, absolutely. And a good friend of mine is on that path right now and I'm so excited for her because she and her uh, partner I've been going through, um, she's been doing her deep healing for two years now and he was in another relationship and she just knew it. She just felt the connection and she felt that it was him and they are very close to this next point in their relationship of coming together through marriage and that is when the next level of healing happens because when you come together in union, you still have more to do together. You're in union with your equal. It's someone who is your equal. So with in that type of partnership, you are still growing and you're held accountable and you're held responsible in new ways. Uh, when your equal is with you, they will challenge you to be better. They will show you your weaknesses or your vulnerabilities or what you need to change. It's not as if it's, it's easy. Uh, but there's a flow to it, there's a respect, there's a deep, deep love because there's a commitment to each other that's deeper than any other relationship commitment before. And so being in union with a twin requires ongoing growth and healing and that sense of, okay, we're in this together and how do we make the most of this relationship? And of course, we're in the physical, we're in 3D, so you have uh, just life, life situations that come up. But you understand that you're paired with somebody who is your energetic equal, who loves you unconditionally, who believes that they are also fully in their power and fully in their energy. And so you have a different connection of trust, of faith, of, of healing, of forgiveness, of compassion when you are with your energetic equal. And it's also up to you to continue to exhibit those qualities back in the partnership. And so this is where you grow because you find new levels of compassion or responsibility within yourself. So the journey never ends. It just keeps growing and healing you and expanding you. And as you do this, it's how your energy field then goes out into the world more powerfully so that you can continue this mission of unconditional love in whatever form that looks like. Now again, there was something about the two of you that was usually different. And just by people seeing you together, 
is how they understand that love is so much bigger than what they thought or what they imagined. And that's the strength of a twin flame connection is that it's through your relationship, people expand their beliefs around what love is, around what unconditional love looks like, and that it looks different than it has before. And that's why it's the ultimate love story. Because you overcame something, you moved through something, it was hard, intense, deep, emotional, there was the full spectrum. And that's the gift too, is that you've understood the full spectrum of your energy And that only brings you into more of your own power. So this is an empowering journey, even though it does not feel that way at times. And it's meant to help you see all of who you are, what you're capable of, where you can find new confidence in yourself, where you can love yourself even more with full acceptance, full forgiveness, and full compassion. So it's quite remarkable and it's ultimately meant to be encouraging and beneficial for everyone involved. It truly is. Now, twin flame connections requires so much of us that if you haven't done enough work, healing work, the connection won't stick and it enters a new cycle of healing where you do have to heal some things, uh, whether that's from former relationships, habits, um, emotional wounds, whatever that might be. Of course, that varies for each person. But the twin flame connection gives you the space for that. And so that's why twin flames are actually some of the most enlightened, awakened, and healed people. But don't let that get to your ego because there's always more to do and there's always more ways that you can support and serve others because of that. You can help them through their dark night of the soul or through their turmoil. You can help them to find more love within themselves, which is always our truest sense of power. So the union, reunion, and reconnection energies happen in the spiritual realms before they happen in the physical, and they can transpire in different ways. And the journey continues on. The love story moves on. It unfolds in many ways. It requires you to trust deeper, to love bigger, and then to take it forward and to keep moving into what's next for you. And it isn't meant to be idealized. Again, it's some of the hardest work. It's the most intense pain you've healed. It's the biggest emotional pain. So please recognize yourself. Please acknowledge yourself. Please love yourself for this path. And also recognize the full circle experience of how much you've grown around what held you back before but no longer holds you back anymore. So that you can feel strong in the emotional experience, the physical experience of it, but also the spiritual development and the soul growth that has occurred. It is an amazing thing. It is something that is unique and yet it is a new frequency that you hold regardless of whether or not you're in physical union, okay? The frequency that you hold, the vibration of love, of acceptance, of forgiveness and compassion that you hold when you move through the deepest parts of it and you've reached that point of even emotional neutrality, that is what you continue to put out into the world and that is not dependent upon physical union. You're not conjoined twins. You are your individual self. You are your full and complete person as is in your full splendor. This is not a codependent connection. It's understanding that you are connected and that that's one of your powers. You know that that's one of your superpowers that you have this amazing connection with somebody else either on the planet or in spirit or in the physical, however that's playing out for you. 
and love that you have that support here as you journey forward. I'm going to answer more questions in the next video because I have more of you submitted questions. And if you feel like you're not supposed to unite or you're not going to unite, I'm going to address that too because that's a big thing and, and, it's, and it's important to understand more about that energetics too. So I will see you in the next video, video 21, when you have time. Thank you.